Hey guys, Graham here from TheRecordingRevolution.com with another 5 minutes to a better mix tutorial. We've been looking at 31 mixing tips in 31 days, and today I've got another arrangement mixing related tip. If you caught yesterday's video, you'll know what I'm talking about. The idea here is I want to show you how to quickly sort of beef up a part of a track using um, octave pitch shifting. In particular, I'm going to look at a guitar solo. Um, but this is great for that kind of stuff, lead riffs, where you just want to add some thickness for a part or emphasize a certain part of a mix. And this is so much a part of mixing because you're trying to make every measure, every section of the song interesting. And this is one way to do it if you don't have any other material to work with. Here is a, a lead guitar solo I have in this rockin' song, and he's just going off. And there's kind of a first half of the solo, and then the second half of the solo, he hits this cool little melody that he repeats. Um, and it sounds great, but it seems like there could be something even better going on. So take a listen for a second, and I'll show you what I want to do to it. Right? He's ripping it. But I love the part when he goes, the. He comes back to that. And it's like a little melody that's the only time he like reprises something in his solo. So as I'm listening to that as a mixer, I'm thinking, dude, that part needs to be emphasized a little bit. And he just recorded the solo straight. There's no other parts to it. So here's one way to emphasize something like that is grab it pitch it down an octave and bury it in the mix. So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna open up another track here, just another mono audio track right below the solo. And I'll call this octave guitar. And let me see if I can find where that lead riff was. So that's the first time he hits it. Now here's what I wanna do. I basically wanna copy it and pitch it down. Um, but knowing how pitch shifters work, um, I wanted to get as clean of a performance as I can. If you listen to the beginning of this, he's kind of hitting a chord. Right there. But the second half here, it's clean. So I'm going to copy a little bit of this. I'm not worried about this being a double. I literally want to copy for now. Um, and then... I can copy the rest of this. What I've done basically is the same thing as copying this whole riff. I just didn't want that first little note. So I'm pretty much just taking the best of his performance to make it a little cleaner. So I'm just gonna make a crossfade here, trim this back a bit, fade that up so it's a little cleaner. All right. And then what I want to do is select all of that. This is on the new track now. And most of your DAWs should come with some kind of pitch shifting plug-in that can do real uh, crude, uh, rough shifting of something up or down. I'm not talking about an auto-tune plug-in. I'm just talking about something that can literally pitch shift um, your audio. And this is one that comes with Pro Tools for free. You have a bunch of you know presets. I'm going to pick guitar. And under the pitch section, I'm going to transpose this down a whole octave, which if you're familiar with music at all, it's 12 semitones. That's the way we have in music. We have 12 half notes in an octave. So, um, you know, an A going down to an A flat would be uh, a semitone um, as opposed to a whole tone. So down 12 semitones just means down a whole octave. So it'll be the same notes, just lower. Um, and I'll render that. And we can take a listen to what that sounds like. Right? It's the same notes, just lower in an octave. Um, and of course, it doesn't sound nearly as good as the original. We've kind of distorted the audio a bit. But that doesn't matter because it's going to be buried in the mix. I'm going to do the same thing over here where it repeats. Let's find the original solo. So yeah, literally I can go back to grid mode and now copy this and paste that octave underneath it. Bring it back in context with a mix and take a listen, see if we can get a good volume.
And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and copy the exact same delay plugin on that track and the same EQ. Let's take a listen. <laughs> There it is, a real simple way to emphasize something exciting in your mix, especially on a guitar part. Just pitch it down an octave, put it in the mix somewhere. It sounds thick, it sounds uh, intentional, and it can draw the listener's ear to something you think is awesome. Hope that helps. Again, this is Graham at therecordingrevolution.com. We'll see you on another video.